Okay guys, today I want to go over Facebook's third most frequently asked question according to Leak Code, and this question is called Meeting Rooms 2. So the problem description says, given an array of meeting time intervals consisting of start and end times S1, E1, S2, E2, up to SN, e EN, find the minimum number of conference rooms required. So if we have an example here, example one, 0, 30, 5, 10, 15, 20, again, those are start and end times of meetings. So we would output two, because we only need two meeting rooms to actually accommodate all of these meetings. So how do we do this? So the probably, I think, an easy way to consider this is just think about real life, right? How would you actually do your scheduling in real life? You need to think about the thing that ends next, right? The thing that ends the earliest. So if we see a first meeting, we definitely need a meeting room because we don't have any, right? But then every single time we have a new meeting, we need to check if the meeting that we're on is gonna conflict with the earliest ending meeting. So a good way to do this is we can actually use a min heap to keep track of the earliest ending meeting at any time. So that's how we're gonna start this problem. So first we're just gonna do some error checking. So we're gonna say, whoops. We're gonna say if intervals is null or intervals dot length. Whoa, is zero. Then we're just gonna return zero, right? Cause if we don't actually have any meeting rooms, we don't need, or sorry, if we don't have any meetings, we don't need any meeting rooms. So we just return zero. Otherwise, the first thing we can do is we can process all of these events in chronological order, right? So we said it's easiest kind of thing about it in real life. If we had a bunch of events in real life, I would wanna know what starts earliest, right? So we can actually sort our array of intervals by start time. So let's do that. So we'll say arrays.sort and we're sorting intervals and we're gonna tell arrays.sort how to sort it, right? Cause they're custom objects. So we're gonna pass a lambda function and we're gonna say a.start minus b.start. So all this is saying is start, is sorry, sort these meeting rooms, these meetings by their start time. And now we said we want a min heap. So we're gonna make a priority queue and this is gonna hold interval objects. We're gonna call it min heap equals new priority queue. And then same thing, we need to tell the min heap how to compare objects, right? Cause it's holding intervals again. So what we wanna do, we said, is we wanna keep track of the end time. So we're gonna pass again a lambda function or we're gonna say a dot end minus b dot end. So the root of the min heap is always gonna contain the meeting time that, the meeting that ends the earliest. So now we said again, if we have one meeting, we definitely need one meeting room. So we're just gonna add to our min heap the very first interval. So we'll say interval zero. And now we just need to go through and process all the other meetings that we have. So we could have a for loop for int i equals one while i is less than intervals dot length i plus plus. And again, let's just go through what we talked about, right? We said we wanna get the current meeting and just compare it to the thing that's in the root of the min heap. So let's get, first let's get the meeting we're processing. So we'll say interval current equals intervals i. And now let's get whatever's at the root of the min heap, which again is gonna be the earliest ending meeting that we have right now. So we'll say interval earliest equals min heap dot remove. And now we said we just need to compare these two things, right? So if current.start is greater than or equal to, and I just wanna point out that the equal to here is basically for edge cases, right? So if a meeting ends at two o'clock, we're gonna assume that we could actually schedule a meeting for two o'clock. So we don't actually have a conflict, conflict there. We don't actually need an extra meeting room. So if the current meeting we're processing, if it starts later than earliest.end, then what we're actually gonna do is we're just gonna change the earliest end time to be the current end time. And the reason for that is because if we don't have a conflict, we don't need to add another meeting room to accommodate this, this new meeting. So we're just gonna change whatever was in the main heap, we're gonna change its end time. So we're going to say earliest, whoops, earliest.end equals current.end. Awesome. And now otherwise we definitely have a conflict, right? And so if we have a conflict, we need another meeting room. And so we're actually just going to add the current interval to our heap. So we'll say min heap dot add current. Awesome. And now the last thing that we need to do here is just remember since we actually removed something from the heap, 
in this step on line 21, we just want to add it back so that we can actually compare uh, accordingly for our next iteration. So we'll say min heap dot add and we'll say earliest. And so now the really nice thing about this solution is that we actually have the number of meeting rooms that we need just by our heap size. So simply at the end of this, we could just return min heap dot size and that will actually hold the number of meeting rooms that are required to accommodate all these different meetings. Awesome, and that works. So guys, if you guys have any comments or if there's anything I could do to help you guys for your interviews coming up, be sure to leave a comment below and I'll definitely get back to you. This is how to solve meeting rooms two on leak code in Java. Again, this is Facebook's third most frequently asked question according to leak code, so definitely understand how to do it. I hope this is helpful and I'll see you guys next time.